Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Disturbing Puppet. So we're here to play some more Signal from Tolva. Uh, it's been a little while since we played, so hopefully I'll remember what I was doing. I sort of remember, anyway. So let us continue with Game 1. All right. Yes, load Game 1. Establishing connection to remote surveyor host. Let's see if I'm where I was last time. Yeah, that's about right. So we left off here, kind of doing some exploring on the map. So I think what we're going to do is check out this signal next. Fleet Crater is one of the most likely locations for the source of the signal. Conduct investigation with caution. Got uh, rewards, countermeasures, no idea what the Tabai look off is, a support call. I guess we'll find out. Sure, that makes sense. I do like jumping to the map and stuff and then jumping back, just the kind of the effects and stuff. This game really has solved some of the, you know, shooter issues with, uh, yeah, you're just a robot, uh, you die, you just jump into a new body, uh, anything else crazy happens, you're just, you know, taking over a body. I can fast travel around by hijacking bodies. I'm gonna tag these friendlies here, just so I sort of know where they're at. Since I can see them on the map. Just since they're hanging out here anyway. Um, as nice as this game looks, I really do prefer it during the day. Um, at night, it's kind of hard to see some stuff. I do have crazy uh, high beam lights on my robot here. Helps a little bit. I'm not sure if it helps me get spotted. There's no stealth mechanics in this as far as I know. This is a nice spaceship up here. Anything issues with the sound or anything else, please let me know. Go to my crazy scanning mode, just check. I think I already kind of checked this area for any resources or anything. So this is kind of a new area, I think. I gotta get a little further. prefer exploring during the day, but you know, it's interesting to have a day-night cycle. I'm trying to spot people from a distance if I can. My clumpy robot feet as I run. Oh yeah, we got bad guys. Hostile, Zealot, Rank 1. Current State Patrolling, Mission Guard Area. There's more than two of them. I know there's more than two of them. I still kind of piecing together some of the lore and stuff. Uh, I have no idea what my relation to the Zealots is exactly, just that they seem to be an enemy faction. There's also bandits that'll pop up occasionally. So I guess the Zealots worship the Space Pope and I don't or something, I don't know what the deal is. Or they love the Cylons and I worship Hal, or you know what exactly the deal is. Is that one right there? It is hiding in the rocks. Most of the structures of this planet have been left behind during a recent conflict. This one, however, is truly ancient. 
I don't actually see. It just looks like rock. It doesn't actually look like a structure. New zone discovered. Flute crater. Another one. Some kind of opening here. Now we found like derelict spaceships. There's been all kinds of uh, old ruins and stuff. Huge robots. Um, so it's kind of an exploration game as well as uh, shooting. But it's nice to actually, you know, there's kind of cool stuff to find and discover. And the art design looks cool. So that really helps. That's a signal over there. Oh, what? There's like weird floating stuff in the air. It's super creepy. And in my scanner you can kind of see this is going to light up. So this is a signal to investigate. So check it out. Snoot datum 52. Check it out. Surveyor Team 51, Field Log 7. We, something, have encountered Cathedral Zealots. They are Space Pope worshippers! <laughs> cathedral Zealots on the ground. Uh, they appear to be worshipping certain fragments that they have unearthed. Many of the worshipping drones are inactive and not hostile. We have requested advice on how to proceed in these circumstances. High-level minds, blank, do not seem in agreement in how to act towards our assailants. That is making territorial progress difficult. Our network is also throwing errors, suggesting that local drones have been compromised remotely. Security could be improved if our ship mines something designated more resources to it. Hmm. That guy's right there. As soon as I shoot him, everybody's going to come for me. I'm sure they're all charging towards my position as we speak. Try to grab these resources dropped. Uh, sort of heading in my direction. Sure, I want to run towards the enemy at this point. Oh, oh this one like right there. Or is that that's a friendly, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a friendly. Don't want to shoot the friendly, so if I can avoid it. Just got a shield up. Drop your shield, drop your shield, drop your shield. Gunfire behind me too. Oh, friendlies have showed up to help me. Cool. Wow. Heck. Good thing too if they're like right on top of me here. <laughs> Didn't even notice one getting by me. Usually they all come kind of charging towards you once you engage in combat in this. So I'm probably clear, at least till I get to the structure. There's something floating in the air there. Not sure if that's a signal source. Yeah, no data available. Kind of far away. Yeah, it must be a signal source. Kind of the weird tendrils and stuff there. Am I? Yeah, I'm sliding down the hill. Okay. I'm freaking out or I'm sliding down the hill. Something flashed. Wait, is that a person? It looks kind of like a person. Exigent demands something. Tectonic shutdown all attempts something into one lattice. Trace something down to single response versus signs of sentient response. Put that up again. It's the same. 
you something data release without third party intervention network and stasis we something yeah that was definitely something kind of flashing into existence and then disappearing well we got zealots back huh Yeah, there's something about, we we're kind of investigating an unusual signal here, so we came down to the planet to check it out, and there's lots of other signal sources we're trying to eliminate, um, and there's old ruins from some ancient conflict, and all kinds of, oh, good lord, put my shield up, they just came right for me, didn't they? Ah! Now, even with my shield up, I got trashed. Guess we'll jump back here. <laughs> so yeah, you die, you just basically just hijack another body and take it over. So there's no real negatives. Combat going on here too. The heck. Okay, they're taking on the zealots over there. They're still tagged. That's kind of cool. Tag my buddies here if I can see them. Hung up there. Friendlies. Just tag them to keep an eye on them in case they suddenly disappear. I'll kind of know what's going on. Maybe. More zealots are going to show up here. Paranoid now. So you have more of them just pop up out of nowhere. There are bases and stuff that you can take over, and um, they kind of act as spawns. So maybe they have a base back here. Well, that's a friendly too. Going way out there. And they're like charging on in. Okay, yeah, you guys draw fire or whatever, I guess. There's actually an item I can take instead of a gun that uh, lets me take over robots. I think it's only friendly robots you can kind of take over and order around. Um, but I'm kind of giving up a sniper rifle or an assault rifle for that. Uh, I don't know. Might be more useful, actually. Especially since, you know, I'm not the best at first-person shooters. I enjoy playing around with them sometimes, um, but uh, yeah, I'm not super awesome or anything. So activate my migraine mode here, which lets me spot resources and other hidden things. Is that something there? Is that just a shadow light? Is anything visible in the scan spectra in this location? Yeah, that's my scan spectra here. To figure out how to get up there. I don't think I can jump that high. What? Okay, that hurt me. Oh, I forgot when it's being attacked. I do have kind of an area of effect weapon I still haven't used. I don't know the effective range of it. I still haven't messed around with it. Ah! <laughs> I can shoot those things before they hit me. Got a dead robot here. No data available. Friendly is kind of that guy's playing with his hand or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's another one of those things. I wonder if I can shoot it. Don't think so. I'm just gonna suck the damage apparently. Scan complete, stone circle. 
conclusions we draw from this are troubling. There's something else here besides the warring drone factions. Yeah, whatever that figure was that I saw was standing here, I'm pretty sure. So we can check out the transmission. Should have a new one. Yeah, stone circle. Data from Flute Crater Survey Location. Unknown megalith formation. Trace signatures rapidly decayed during the survey process. Presence of drone hardware suggests location was of interest, but not the source we're looking for. Continue to survey similar locations. Broker's notes. The broker's kind of the one who's been sending me places. Uh, and the one kind of sending me the message that was at the bottom of the screen. Something there, but what was it? There's every chance we're being toyed with by whoever is plugging into these drones we're encountering. Could it be they've really found something significant on this ancient rock? What do they know? Where do I want to go after this? I guess we can go here and um, kind of see if there's any level ups or new equipment I can use. And then we can maybe travel from there. Um, I can't move the map from here. It's always centered on me, but there's some other signal locations and things further up. Is that another giant? Yeah, it looks like a, another giant head. If I'm not crazy, like eye sockets and stuff. And some like these ruins of these huge ancient robots. These little spark things keep damaging me. Yeah. Kind of big. Cool but creepy. Giant head. Cyclopean head. Noises coming from all around me. Check out the rest of the crater here. See if there's anything of interest, any resources I can pick up. Well, there's something I didn't even notice. So I'm gonna get shocked here by the spark guy. Snoop's Datum 28. Take a look at that. Illegal cluster collected. There's something wrong. We aren't alone out here. Systems keep shutting off. Bringing them back is deleting, uh, depleting us. Don't know if we can stay connected. What if there was something encrypted? Something in the dust? Don't ignore this transmission. We have every right to speculate. What if it was thinking in slow time? It seems like we're just out of step. One pace behind the total archive. Network to whenever drone. Hmm. I have to go back and like look at these in order <laughs> if I can piece things together. It's kind of multiple different stories and things going on at the same time. Unlocked the Squid Frebecker command module tool, but you have to try it. You can rip the module from the loadout menu inside bunkers. Having a few surveyor drones as backup can't hurt. Yeah, that's the thing that kind of takes over friendlies, I think. Hearing gunshots. Or I'm crazy. I'm all paranoid. Well, he's just kind of hanging out like everything's fine. Friendlies. Got one of these weird rolly things. You just kind of roll around making strange noises. Anything back 
back here. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, this... Mobile data interpolator, Sparrow variant. Yeah, they roll around the planes making just random weird computer noises. The first time I saw one moving, it kind of freaked me out. I just thought they, you know, placed certain areas and then I saw one, like, roll away. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. Nothing. Okay, just a hidden little area. Okay, I think that was another one of the little spark zappy things. Drone, neutral. I'm not seeing anything else of interest. So we'll head back and check out our upgrades. And then we will probably abandon this body to move on to another one. So we can, that's basically the way to fast travel around since I'm essentially a program, not an actual robot. Well, I'm a program taking over a robot. You'd think the surveyors wouldn't be too happy with me just kind of hijacking their bodies and stuff, but they seem fine with me. Um, it did kind of warn me not to antagonize them or shoot at them, so I haven't done that. So maybe you can make them mad at you. But I'm not super interested in finding out, actually. This is our base here that we took over. Hey, buddy. Got some more rewards. Haven't wrecked up. So sometimes things are limited by rank, so check out what we've got here. This thing is new. Low gain, Howitt Loberman Algorithm Energy Lance. Hmm. Damage per second is 20. So it's less damage than the one I've got. Recharge time is better. Doesn't use energy per shot. Range is shorter. I'm kind of curious to check it out and see what it is. Maybe we can play around with it. Oh, I've got to spend money. I've got tons of credits. It's fine. Sure. Try that. I can always switch back. This is what I was using before. Uh, sniper rifle, I like the sniper rifle I've got. For shield, I'm using the slightly upgraded version. Uh, here we go, a bunch of AoE stuff. So what I'm using right now is supposed to be something that um, blinds enemies around me. I still haven't actually used it to check the range on it. I'm kind of curious about the range. Uh, so countermeasures causes local hostiles to retreat. Support call. Call in a support drone for a short period. The drones, I don't think, have weapons on them, though, so I'm not sure how useful that is. It might be not terrible. I could always have a buddy, basically, with that. Countermeasures rank 2. I'm not high enough rank for that. Local hostiles pushed into retreat. Routines for longer. It tells me recharge time, but it doesn't actually tell me how long it's in effect this stuff though that's also what I'm curious about I'll 
try this one. I can go ahead and buy it. Um, I don't have to install it, but I'm going to try it out and we'll see. And this stuff's all kind of base level chassis, nothing special. It has to be rank 2 to get any of that stuff, so we'll see. Look at the map. Can I move the map here? No, I can't. Trying other keys to move the map around, not really working. So I do have ways to the east, but there's also some stuff up north that I need to check out. Um, actually, let me try out the weapons and stuff before I jump, and then we'll uh, see if I want to switch them before we go over there. I'm not going to attack my friendlies here, but uh, it's like I'm carrying a giant drum or something. Okay, so we'll try my summon thing. Um, did that work? Do I have to hold it down? Oh, there's my drum buddy. Survey drill and assist 09, friendly. Is that a gun? <laughs> He's carrying a gun underneath there, I guess. That's what it looks like, anyway. Yeah, alright, that's cool. We'll kind of hang out and uh, wander around. That's decent. Oh, he's fighting somebody. Is that, that's a bandit. Okay, we've got bandits around. Taking pot shots at the bandit. Is that it? I think those are friendlies. I'm not 100% sure. Let me check. Yeah, those are friendlies. Marking everybody here. The heck, like they're behind us? Need some another drone, I think. I don't see him. Okay, it takes a little while, I guess, for them to pop in. Everybody seems like they're fine. Oh, must be somebody. They put their guns away and then whipped them all back out and turned around. Grab the resources while I can. Of uh, friendlies here. They don't want the resources, I'll grab them, that's fine. Okay, so I'm down on energy as long as my surveyor is out and alive. So I just noticed underneath the on the right side and the bottom. That might only be energy specifically for um, that ability. Because I think the other one depletes when I turn my shield on. Let's check. And it's that one. So I've got a shield energy bar, I've got a health bar on the left. And the energy on the right, I think, is for recharging weapons. So the other one must be for the special abilities. All right, I gotta try this other weapon I got. <laughs> this is zooming with it. Okay. Did 
That is a zealot. Some zealots back there. Do some sniping here, maybe. Going the wrong direction, though. Big guy there, just standing there. Kind of curious. No data available. That's weird. Oh, that's not a dude. That's a tree. Okay. <laughs> like another one of the red guys. I kind of like my assault rifle a little better than the lance thing. Kind of hard to tell if I'm hitting. Yeah, I like the scope on my assault rifle a little better. Helps me see what I'm shooting at, so I'm going to switch back to that. This isn't too terrible, but uh, I kind of prefer having the scope on the assault rifle. Just kind of playing around with the weapons, why not? All repaired. So this one I was using. Yeah. yeah, it's not much of a zoom, but I kind of like being able to see a little bit better where I'm shooting. So I know there's stuff further up to check out, but I can't move the map up higher. I kind of feel bad about abandoning bodies, honestly, but uh, I'll go ahead and jump to here, and I might have to jump again. And just hijack a surveyor, take him over. Hijack new drone, unique ID, AGLJI50. Yeah, this was one of the cooler things we found, was the this giant robotic monstrosities remains here. The skull, and we've got the spinal cords going back into the mountains. And then there's the arm up here and the hand. Just really cool looking. See, like, the surveyors have been inside, kind of checking things out. There's even, like, um, sort of built walkways and things inside so they can check it out. I'm sure if they're, like, mining out parts or resources or what exactly is going on. But uh, I just thought this was really cool. When I came across this, it was like, one of the things that really made me feel like this game definitely worth my time messing around with. It's kind of a weird jump. Yeah, give an idea of like the scale here. The hand compared to me. Get up there. Yeah, just the size of this thing, the hand and the arm and the head. The vertebrae going off into the mountain like it's part of the rock and stuff. Okay, so we're here. We've got resources out here to grab. Uh, there's an ambush up here. Allied patrols have gone missing in this area. Please investigate. Secure area in exchange for chassis auto repair increase. There's kind of a limit on how much I'll repair myself, so doing these will increase the amount I repair after taking damage. So that would be pretty useful. 
we will go grab the uh, resources first. So I can jump to here. I can go ahead and walk there. I kind of feel bad about abandoning my bodies, but um, I'll just go ahead and jump over to this one. Edge Veil. Hijack new drone, AG04 JWX. J Wax. Weird local wildlife here flying around. I'm trying to scan it, but uh, don't think it'll work. Yeah, no data available. All right, where do we want to go? We want to check out this. There is a signal up here, ambush. We'll probably check out the resources here, uh, ambush and signal. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So here we have scan analysis one, uh, complicated electromagnetic footprint. Scan it to improve the filtering stack. So it gives me some new stuff. And this will help me re regenerate health, so yeah. Quick look through the binoculars and see if we can see anything of interest. Pretty sure I scanned around here, so there shouldn't be any resources lying around. But yeah, like during the day, this game just looks amazing. I really like the art style, the aesthetic, and everything. Night, eh, kind of hard to see stuff. Kind of makes it less fun. More likely to feel like I'm being ambushed or something. Uh, this looks like part of a ship. Yeah, wreckage of Klux class frigate. So I've seen a lot of these uh, Crux class frigate wreckages um, around. I'm not sure if it's from like one that broke up in orbit and is all over the place, or if it's just lots of different ones that have crashed. Wheeled vehicle wreckage. So check that out. There's probably some resources there. There we've got a surveyor op marker beacon variant offline. Is that on the map? So if I go near it, I might be able to activate it, and then I can use it for fast travel as well, I think. But I think there's a good chance we'll see some bandits or something on the way. Yeah, it's a wheeled vehicle here, but definitely looks more tracked vehicle. A lot of the red stuff, at least the red robots are zealot, but then the vehicles and the crux class frigates are often red too, so I'm not sure if they're also zealot in origin or what. Kind of piecing things together. Edge Veil Beacon activated. Yeah, so now it's activated. So I can jump to here if I want to. Surprised there are no bandits or anything around. Look around for any resources. Some stuff this way. That's my scanning mode I'm going into. Um, <laughs> I don't mind the visual effects, but the sound is, I don't know, <laughs> sort of migraine inducing. So I'm referring to it as migraine mode. At least with the headphones and stuff on, it uh, definitely penetrates your brain, that's for sure. Hard to tell if I can get through some areas or not on the edges. So we'll beeline over here. There's those flyers. Like freaky squid geese or something. Frigate. 
So this must all just be frigate wreckage. Somebody down there. That's a bandit, I think. Hostile subject is a bandit. Currently targeting a thing. Mission state traveling. Exploring. Anybody else? Friendly. No, I find the rock already. I can nail him right here as he walks by. Like he had no idea where that came from. Summon my little buddy, just in case some come swarm in this direction. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe we're fine. Friendlies down there. Oh, that didn't sound friendly. Multiple explosions. But I see nothing. Friendly guy's still alive, though. him, maybe? Just to see what we can see. What the heck? minigun or something. It's probably a thing that I had before. What the heck? I heard somebody laugh. Laughing <laughs> 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 robot? Kind of creepy. There. Edge Vale, waypoint reached. So this is all that Crux Cruiser. Well, this is kind of odd. No data available. Okay. I'm assuming if your antimatter drive or thruster or something like that is a uh, nuclear reactor is making that kind of noise, probably not a good idea to hang around. Definitely more resources around this general area. Mm -hmm. Kind of 
it back here, take off ground. Migraine mode shows nothing. That's a dead end. Marking my friendlies here. Just kind of tell where they're at. Don't want to accidentally shoot them if I can avoid it. So something over here. If I stay in this mode for long, it definitely kind of messes with you. Like, enough! Oh. Stop! <laughs> it sort of feels like I'm jumping higher now than I was before, and I don't know if that's just me being crazy or what. Backwards. Hmm. Three things left. Okay, three more things to find. Thing. Further, there's something right there. Getting a little dark. Pull out the high beams. something up there. Oh, right in the middle of the wreckage. I think I could actually get in here. Get up there. Completed material collection. So I think we'll check out the ambush here, and then that signal, something big here on the map, yeah, it's, well you can see now the map goes pretty far, I'm not even sure how high up it goes. But I haven't explored a ton really, I wish I could move it around, I don't know why I can't. It could just be commands, I just don't know what they are, but yeah, using the typical things you would expect, don't seem to do anything. We'll head towards the ambush, I guess. Because walking into an ambush sounds like a great idea. Especially at night. But it's got a good reward. over the sound of my heavy clomping feet. Yeah, this is walking. Step, 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 step. Run. Clomp, clomp, clomp. I'm 
must be through here, right? Yeah, straight and then left. And from here it looks like I can actually get up. But I don't remember seeing a way up when I was over here. I'm just kind of curious. I might be able to jump up on the rocks to get up there. Maybe. It's kind of steep and high. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I mean, I don't think I can get up there. Ambush ahoy! Drone bandit chassis damaged. So it's a bandit, but it's not active. Huh. So there must be other bandits around. Slipgate run. Neutral drone. Gonna hug the edge here, just kind of move around. Check for anything of interest. It's kind of weird how this interacts with your light, <laughs> kind of makes it even more freaky. Got no data available. <laughs> Network engine angle box category. Like a Wi Fi router. That was on melee attack, it was the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to pick stuff up. It's my weird, like, shove. Get away from me! Is there? Here's something. I think it's a rolling. Yeah. This thing. Mobile data interpolator. Trying to get different angles on this, see if I can spot anything, but you know, it is an ambush, so probably not. Anything else around? Yeah, I guess robots don't do stealth. I don't know. <laughs> Just <laughs> stoppy, stoppy, stoppy. Interesting. Old structure here, but no data on it. Oh, there's something. Creepy tendrils. Yep, datum 33. Let's take a look at number 33. Surveyor K9343. Survey log fragment. 
Our measurements and detections of the footprints we were following come from previous experiments, previous surveys, previous detections. But what if the pattern they are collecting hides a larger pattern by virtue of the way in which we are collecting it? The scanner which collects electromagnetic radiation refracted in the atmosphere might fail to appreciate the rainbow. Uh, it could be a sonar pulse which misses, misses the Atlantis buried beneath the surface. Sure. Possible. Hmm. Yeah, there's no real specific direction on how I'm supposed to go about scanning stuff. I'm just kind of exploring and checking stuff out. So I'm kind of getting things a little bit out of order, probably. But I don't think it's designed to be given to you in order anyway. You gotta figure it out yourself. New zone discovered, Spree Valley. So must be like right through here. We've got the ambush coming. There's a door right here, too. Hmm. Don't like being super close to my enemies. Especially at night. No. Bring out my surveyor drone here. Maybe he'll set off the ambush instead of me. Yep. <laughs> He's freaking out. He just got blown up. <laughs> that didn't last very long. One, I'm sure there's plenty more, but nobody else is charging me. Oh! Shield up. Strafing, strafing, strafing. Strafing. Ambush eliminated. Auto repair increased. Cool. I didn't even die. I'm mildly surprised. Grab the resources. They disappear. Doesn't seem like I'm repairing any more than I was before, though. Bring out my drone again. Be more bad guys because he's freaking out. You got this. I trust you. I got your back. Or something. You go first. Uh, is that a bad guy? It is a bad guy. Ah. I can't hit anything. He doesn't even know I'm shooting at him, and I still can't hit him. Let's try stabilizing. Anybody else? So we've got what's this? Military bunker under bandit control. Capture the bunker to use its facilities. That's probably a good thing. Now I'm going to check out this and activate this. Then we'll head to the bunker. I think. 
so it's a little closer. Take that bunker away from the bandits. Which I'm kind of hurt, so I could just die in the process, but... Uh... Oh well. Kind of ominous music for no reason. Hopefully, no reason, anyway. <laughs> I don't see anybody. Creepy random noises. No data available. No data available. And no data available. Okay. Spree Valley. Something there with a the signal. from that directly, okay. Oh no, it's not. I'm just an idiot. It's coming from this thing. Surveyed one of one sources. Analysis one, scan complete. So, mission report outlier sigma four. Data from Spree Valley survey location. More evidence of gross corruption of data and materials by something. No detailed analysis is presently available to explain the anomalies we're seeing in these readings. Please collect more data from similar locations. Broker's notes. There's something terrible going on here. Are you sure you want to stay connected to this weird rock? What if you download this? What if you download the something malicious? What if we're being set up? I guess I could collect some kind of a virus and then infect the whole system I'm connected to with it. It's always a possibility, I guess. That would sound more like the equivalent of robotic uh, entities fighting a war with each other. That's a zealot. Patrol lighting. Uh, it's guarding the spawn beacon. So I would like to liberate that. I'm sure there's more than just the one zealot. Look on the scanner. Anything else? Don't see anything else. It's never just one. Tag everybody. Closer one if I can get an angle on him here. Actually, this guy's coming relatively close to me. Let's send my drone out. Ow. survive that. Might be more, but usually they all come towards me when I get in a fight. 
Yeah, we activated the beacon. Just had to get a little closer to activate it. Liberate it. Yeah, I swear I'm not auto repairing any more than I was before. Maybe it's just a tiny, tiny increase when you take care of an ambush. No data available. This was this beacon that we took over. Some very deep bass noises coming from over here. direction on the other side of the wall. Okay, so I can't get through here. I have to go around, it looks like. I'm going to try to take this bunker away from the bandits. That'll be our next mission. Is anything of interest? Search down there a bunch. Just kind of checking out the scenery and stuff now that it's daytime. We'll see a little better. Shrub, not a person. <laughs> I think that's a person. Robot, whatever. Robots are people too. Actually, in this timeline, they probably are. Boy, there are no people left at this point. Bandits. 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 And bandits. I think humanity is long since extinct at this point, probably. Would kind of be my guess. Let's see if we can do some long-range shooting. Oh, they're fighting something already. Those guys over there. Are those bandits too? Yeah, we got tons of bandits. <laughs> he just got blown up right as I scanned him. Yeah, they're all heading that direction. Target the guy in the back. We'll move our way forward. Ah. Now they're all heading my way. Yay! Or just standing there. Now they're all heading my way. <laughs> Tagged me from pretty far away. Cover would be nice. I'm kind of in the front of something. Get a little cover. Let's 
suck it. Yeah, I like having a distraction with the, the drone. I don't like the fact that none of the guns auto reload. Hey, good job, drone. Good job, drone. Somebody's definitely shooting at me. I'm gonna head for the base and see if I can liberate it. Otherwise, they might start respawning. Yeah, that's a bandit gun turret, I think. Whoa! Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Ow. I've only seen inactive gun turrets before, I haven't actually seen an active one. It is wrecking our day. Ouchie. I'm really glad there's a rocket! turret orbital deployment variant so they dropped some orbital uh, gun turrets down try to keep the base yeah that was pretty nasty actually but the base is ours just looking for resources I think there's got to be some resources around. And here's another Crux class frigate. Pretty much all the ship wreckage I've seen has been Crux class frigates. I'm not seeing anything back here. There's no data available. What is that weird thing on the horizon? It is no data available. Hey, we're gonna rank up. Some new stuff we can check out here. These are weaker, I think. I'm using the ogre. Yeah, just iron sights. I like having the scope on mine. Uh, what can I buy? A long range heavy accelerator rifle with complexity pack. <laughs> complexity pack? What's a complexity pack? So it's more damage. Reactor drain's the same. Recharge time's better. Rank requirements the same. Well, fine. Energy per shot is better. Looks like it's got scope as well, so I might as well upgrade. It seems like that's a straight upgrade from everything I've got.
check it out. Shields, we've got a better one. So we can upgrade to the Deflection Adjusted Plasma Mesh Ablator, superior. Damage absorption is better. Reactor Drain is also better, so yeah, sure. Throw that on. And then these have already seen. Um, I couldn't pick up before, so I can regenerate my chassis. Eh. Or I can make people run away. I kind of like my little buddy that I can um, have come in to support me. This is sort of like happy version, angry version, spooky version, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I'll stick with the support call I've got. That's fine. Check out the sniper rifle. Looks a little different. Yeah, good zoom on it. It's like a rail gun, practically. Interesting ruins and stuff here. Didn't notice that before. here and take a look at the uh, resources and kind of check it out and that'll probably be about it for today and then we'll continue on next time but yeah we'll check out this check out the resources there's probably going to be some bandits or zealots there i would guess anyway Not doing a ton today because I got started a little bit later and wanted to eat something still. You know, that necessity that you have to kind of eat stuff occasionally or you die. So, uh, yeah. You know, with the creepy um, vines and thorns and stuff I haven't seen in other areas until we've kind of gotten to here. Interesting. Crux class for it. This one's a lot bigger than some of the other ones. I mean, it even shows on the map, this big piece. But yeah, I'm still not sure if it's all just pieces from one huge frigate, or if it's just tons of frigates crashed all over the place. Because there's, like, parts out there. It's also a wreckage of a Crux class frigate. And that one I don't really see on the map, although it could be kind of where the ambush is. I'm not sure. out here. And I can see some resources inside. It's a dead zealot. When you're dead, there's no data available, apparently. Whoa. Something's making awful noises here. No signals, though. Just if your spaceship crashes and there's still parts that have power and making horrible noises, probably not safe. Zealot chassis drone damaged. It's dead. Yeah, you know, like creepy tendrils and thorns here growing. What's that? Looks like a wall. No data available, of course. Stuff right next to me, I didn't even notice. Scan. It's 
really kind of lit up that direction. I guess it's just the sunlight. Um, that's another horrible noise. Hazard warning marker, surveyor origin. Maybe that's what, there's kind of the green area. Oh, Spree Valley contaminated. Hmm. So maybe I can't go through there, or it's only fleshy things that will die going in there. There's an area of extreme contamination ahead. Don't enter it without suitable hazard shielding. It might also interfere with our connection. Okay. Hmm. Still have two things left to find here. That's something right there. Yeah. You know, when I'm looking for stuff, if something's like totally right in front of me, I'm never going to see it. Try to hide it away around a corner or under something, I'll probably find it. But yeah, just leave it totally out in the open, I'm never going to see it. Dead surveyor drone here. See, so there's a piece right there. Like I walked right by this too. Completed material collection. So we can't go through there. There was another green area we saw down um, earlier when we were playing. So um, I'll probably continue exploring. Allied patrols have gone missing in this area. Please investigate. Secure air in exchange for chassis auto repair increase. I guess I'm really close to this. I might as well go ahead and do this too before we finish up. It's not very far away, actually. Oh, I can almost make it on there. Get up there. Trying to get an angle on the ambush if I can see anybody or anything. Well, I can't go that way. There's a signal up there. Let's go grab that. Oh, that's not good. Cover, cover, cover. It's not shooting at me yet anyway oh now it will <laughs> good shield's almost done Didn't really expect a turret to be deployed from space to stop me from taking this. I'll just expand it. I'm pretty sure. the ambush yet. <laughs> I'm probably drawing them out from the ambush though. That's a friendly. Try 
trying not to hit friendly here. No, oh, ambush eliminated. Excellent. Gee, I really didn't expect this turret to drop down from space. Spies! And, uh, caused me some problems there. Hey, look, it's a halo ring. Gunfire. Transmission 38. A lot of gunfire now. There's like an army of friendlies down here now. Cleared the ambush and now they're all going to come charging through. Let's check out the transmission we found. Transmission 38. Tight band microcom fragment. Team Pasizzle. <laughs> the planet exhibits some unusual properties. For instance, magnetic particles moved from one area of rock to another will cause a variation in field charge. It is perhaps best understood as analogous to ancient magnetic storage, but on a topological scale. Uh, in our research, if our research here continues, we will have to find a way to shield ourselves from the bursts of network interference. This is if something wants to write data into us. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. For like robotic intelligences, yeah, something messing with your memory or programming, something like that, be uh, sort of the equivalent of human body horror or something for us. Something moving inside of you and corrupting you and taking you over. What do we got? There is another signal. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to end it here. Um, I definitely need to eat something before it gets too late. We'll be unlocking the vampire, the fro, and the bogolyabov. Signals emanating from this location appear to be enormously crude. Survey the location and filter them out. Hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll continue messing around with this a bit. Um, I have also been requested to do some um, Slime Rancher, so I may actually do some Slime Rancher tomorrow instead of this, but we'll see. I might even do both. It depends on timing and stuff. Vector slopes, waypoint reached. This is the ambush location. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I'm going to exit and save beforehand, because sometimes when I go out to stop recording, everything goes wonky. OK, everything's fine. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully check it out next time. I've also got older streams and things up on my YouTube channel, which is also Disturbing Puppet. So if you're interested, please check stuff out there, and hopefully I will see you next time. Thank you.